Adam Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at Kicks96Country.com. Our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, please welcome Justine Blazer to Kicks96Country.com. Hello. Justine, how are hey, you? Hey, how are you? We're good. We're glad to have you down here. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. I saw you at CRS in February. We ran into each other in Nashville, yes. but I didn't get a chance to hear you play before your visit here today. No, no, right. but uh, you just saw us perform mm -hmm. just a minute ago. Yep. Look for so. uh, live performances from Justine and her band uh, uh, elsewhere on our website. But right now we're going to talk about uh, Justine and your roots uh, in music, you come all the way from well, around the Motor City. Mount, yes, Motor City, Detroit Rock City. Um, love country music from day one, but I felt, you know, infusing the rock and roll uh, that Detroit has to offer with a lot of the Motown sound and just creating something really cool and really different in country music, and that's what I've been doing. So. All right, now you've been actually playing, you've been songwriting since you were like eight. Yes, been and doing songwriting for a very long time. You've started playing, what, guitar, I believe at 10? Piano at 10. Piano at 10. Yeah, uh, it wasn't until later, actually, more after high school is when I picked up the guitar, mm -hmm. which felt more natural to me, but I think because of the theory and the foundation of the piano, it just came to me pretty easily. Absolutely. So, yeah. And I believe you recorded your very first EP at like, what, 13? Yes, I recorded a three song EP, probably still have it somewhere. Uh, that was a really neat experience to kind of get in, you know, in the studio and really, you know, cut something that was original and uh, in country. So from then on, I just knew I wanted to do country and be a recording artist. I want to say there couldn't have been much question in your parents' mind that you were going to grow up to be a doctor, or it was like, <laughs> no, this girl was destined for the stage. I've always wanted to do that. Yes, mm -hmm. ever since I was little. So. Well, did, well, does is music does it in your family? Is your parents, or maybe a, you know, a brother or sister? Um, a little bit. My mom um, was a, a dance teacher forever, and she did you know tap jazz and ballet and all that stuff. And then she actually did professional modeling um, for many years. So she never sang and, and no one ever really played music or wrote songs. I was kind of the first, you know, to do that. But um, definitely uh, being on stage was a natural thing for my, my mom. And then she put my sister and I, you know, into dance lessons and things mm -hmm. like that. So from day one, you know, we essentially grew up on stage in, in a dance studio. And you actually, you feel, follow a little bit in your mom's footsteps. You dance some and you yes. modeled some too, right? Yes. Well, um, she owned a dance studio, like I said, for 12 years. So um, growing up, I mean, I remember being 9, 10, 11 years old all the way, you know, through high school and assisting with classes and, you know, teaching, you know, kids how to dance and things like that. And then I was, you know, did some, we did some singing, I had like a little singing group. And so we just did a lot of that kind of stuff. And in, on the weekends we did, you know, talent competitions and that was pretty much my life growing up. So I was just constantly submerged in that scene. And it's just honestly, you know, all I know. And it's, Absolutely. you know, and I, I do love it. So and you mentioned competitions. There's a, a pretty sizable competition in Detroit that uh, you, you were a numerous time winner of. Which one was that? Well, um, well, there's there's a few competitions. There's the Detroit Music Awards, which are um, 21 times, I believe. You uh, nominated. Nominated. Yes, nominated. Yeah. So, um, and then I won the uh, well, I did the Blues Challenge, the Detroit Blues Challenge. I won um, one of those competitions in 2007, and then um, I into, uh, recently I won the Ram Trucks Battle Bands co National Competition which was um, something that they put out uh, for a little talent competition, that national search. And, uh, and me and another band got selected and we went to Austin, Texas and uh, they selected me as the winner. So since then I've been working with Ram Trucks on a lot of their live events and we did uh, the rodeo in Vegas, we did the um, D Dallas, you know, Texas State Fair. So it's just been really fun working with, you know, the, the Ram crew and the Ram rodeo people. All right. So you've obviously garnered quite a bit of attention, uh, you know, at, near, near your hometown in Nashville and nationally. You are on your fifth studio album. Is fifth that right? Yes. Fifth one. This is uh, Gasoline. And uh, we actually heard a live performance on this. You'll see it elsewhere on our site here. Um, let's talk about this album, your fifth album. Okay. Uh, are you the main songwriter on all of these or are there's any that you found in Nashville that you said I want to record that and put on my album? Or? I wrote um, all these songs. I had uh, some co-writers uh, for a couple of them, uh, for five of them actually, but um, no I just wanted to um, you know really put together something that you know I felt was songs that I you know you know could write about and could just kind of sing from the heart but this album was definitely different from all the rest because um, I recorded it in Nashville. I really wanted to take that big step forward and really making something, you know, as Nashville sound as possible. So I, you know, I worked with 
Um, Nick Autry, Billy Decker, Benny Quinn over at Soundstage, which is the same studio as Miranda Lambert, Rodney mm-hmm. Atkins, some of the greats in, in country music. So I just wanted to submerge myself around the people that do this every day for a living. Um, and then I also wanted to infuse more of a rock sound to it and kind of bring that. And, I, and I'm really happy with it because it, it definitely, um, in, in previous albums, I got a lot of... Um, people saying wow you know you, you don't sound the same live as, as you do in the studio and vice versa so i felt with this album it kind of definitely portrays us you know live as well it, you, you can sort of hear the difference and it does sound consistent from our live show to you know on record mm-hmm. so would you say now obviously you know you're you you're in the country genre you know you love country music and you play country music um your live show though i mean being from the motor city there's so much uh rock and blues history that comes out of out of that out of that area mm-hmm. you've in listening to your live performance i can hear that sort of like sort of rock blues flavor mm-hmm. in there definitely How, is that was that on purpose i mean the, um no i mean i just always kind of had that more edgier sound um but you know kind of mixing it with with still that that like country mm-hmm. you know twang um which I don't think a lot of females are doing. Maybe they are. I just maybe not be aware of it. But I think it's something that you know I really wanted to bring that was different because um, I see a lot of like the guys do like the really edgy stuff yeah. and um, and it works for them. Like you know Brantley Gilbert, Jason Aldean, um, those kind of artists, even Eric Church. And I I felt like there really isn't a female that's sort of doing that. There was like with with Shania Twain and such as, but. Um, I wanted to, you know, bring that back because I think it is such a fun, you know, element to, to the country, you know, umbrella because country is super, you know, big these days with all the different types of sub country and the alt country and everything else. So um, that's why I'm really excited about the album because I really feel like it, it is kind of like a good hybrid of, of all that. Together. So far, everything that we've heard sounds great. Let's talk about the single. Not going to take you back. Okay, it's the fourth cut or the fifth cut on the album. Uh, you wrote this. Is that one that you wrote just yourself or your co-writer? Um, me, I had a co-writer on that one. Brennan Henniger, um actually plays guitar for Chris Cagle. Um, but we wrote this one, and we also wrote On the Edge with You, which is not a single. But we wrote those two songs. Um, that was actually inspired the by uh, a, live, a real experience. Um, I dated this guy um, for quite some time, and it didn't really work out. I kind of like called it off or whatever. So three years went by, and um, this was actually last year. I just moved to Nashville, and he ended up calling my mom, like drunk dialing my mom, <laughs> and like that's a new one. Yeah, and like wanting to see if there was like a chance to get back. And so I, um, I really was like, wow, she told me that. And so I went. I didn't even to- start a conversation on that. Mrs. Blazer, uh, is <laughs> Justine there? No, she's in Nashville. Um, do you think she'd take me back? How do you even start <laughs> a conversation? That's pretty much how it, I don't know. Alcohol, I guess, has it, strange wow. effects on people. I don't know. <laughs> what were you drinking, dude? <laughs> to call uh, mom. Who knows? So I would love to have been a fly on the wall yeah. listening to your mom's side of the country. Yeah, I know. I know. So she told me that, and I was like, wow. So I uh, brought it to the session that day, and I told the story to the guy, my, my co-writer, and uh, and we wrote it, and it was something we wrote probably like in an hour. It just mm-hmm. kind of came out. So and now it's just saying, yeah. I'm not going to take you back. Yeah. And and drunk dialing guy, mm-hmm. you're you're now immortalized. Yeah, you Easy. never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the website folks can go by and visit? Okay, um, justineblazer.com is my website, and there's the links to my Twitter page, to um, my Facebook page, so you can definitely. Start there and you know branch off from there, but um, yeah, do say hello on Twitter and Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I try to keep in touch with everybody as much, the best I can. Yep, she's very yeah. active on Facebook. She's been active on our Facebook for the last week or so in preparation for her visit for us here today. Yes. And uh, if you want to hear her single, now I'm going to take you back. You can hear it, of course, uh, live on this website and in another location, or you can just call us at Kicks Ninety Six. We'll be happy to play it for you on the air. And your tour schedule, of course, is on your website too as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. A couple big things coming up. Um, we're opening for Parmalee, May 11th, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So that's my first time playing in Raleigh. I'm really excited about that. And then um, we're filming the music video for my summer single, which we're working on that. And then um, I got selected to be a part of CMA Fanfare. So yeah. I'll have a booth this, this year, uh, June 6th to the 9th at the New Music City Center. So we're excited about that. So come on out if you're coming to Fanfare. Say hello. 
and we'll be doing autographs and pictures and all that kind of stuff. So we're excited. Absolutely. Be yeah. listening to Kix96 also because we're going to be giving away ticket packages to uh, CMA Music Fest Fanfare in Nashville June 6th through the 9th. So be listening to us. You have a chance. We'll send you to go see Justine, okay? Thanks for visiting us here oh, at Kix96. thanks Country. for having me. All right. We'll Appreciate see it. you again next time on another artist video blog at kix96country.com.